How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here, and you are watching Nature Now. So, this is another one of my nature review series, month by month, although it's a late one. September and October have been very busy months for me, and I haven't actually had the chance to get around to doing this video until right now. So let's get started. Of course, September has been a busy month in many ways, and some of those ways have been on a grand scale. Summer has sailed away, and fall has rolled in like high tide hitting the shore. Some of the trees have already began their seasonal changes as nuts and fruit were ripening and even the leaves have begun to change their colors, leaving us with that famous autumn palette of fiery reds and sunset yellows. Golden rods were ablaze with golden yellow flowers in the meadows and insects and spiders and like were having a banquet. Insects chasing after pollen and nectar while being hunted by predators such as ambush bugs, praying mantises, and the magnificent black and yellow argiopes. The titans of the meadow spiders. Now unfortunately, due to where I live, I haven't been able to film it, but almost every single night in September has been dominated by a different moth species. It's a lot of fun to actually see the different species come out every night. Speaking of goldenrods, it seems yellows and oranges are the color of choice for September flowers. Goldenrod, jewelweed, and even partridge peas are all dressed in yellow and orange. Even the spiders and mushrooms are clothed in those warm colors. Geese are already flocking and preparing for their fall migrations, soon to be taking to the skies for their long journey south. Grasshoppers, wasps, mantises, and crickets were everywhere. The evening chorus was immense and beautiful. Many of the days were still hot, but the evenings took on a bit of a chill, which made for perfect weather and temperature for a nice campfire to enjoy. I'm sure you remember, September brought plenty of rain to water the October and September harvest. I can't wait to dig into the, some of those fruits. Hickory nuts, acorns, walnuts, and beech nuts were accompanied by fruits like persimmons and even pawpaws, just to name a few. Squirrels and chipmunks, of course, were busying themselves collecting that harvest and preparing for the cold months ahead. Those rains also brought tons of different mushroom and fungi varieties. Chicken of the woods, <laughs> green jelly babies, Coral fungus and yellow spindle corals were dotting the landscape here and there. I even found an incredible mushroom that belongs to the stinkhorn family. This thing had three stalks all attaching at the top, and let me tell you, it smelled horrible. It smelled like a dead animal, of course, to attract flies and stuff. And that brings me to a point. These fungi actually attract insects and stuff to help them spread their spores, almost like the pollinators that you find in the meadows. Really cool stuff. I got to meet up with the Wildlife Brothers for another wonderful herping collaboration video. Of course, like always, it's a great time to hang out with Evan and Harrison Black. Click on the card to the side to see the video. It's a lot of fun. Now camping in Francis Slocum State Park was really interesting. I found lots of millipedes at night, but the strange thing is, is nearly every single one of them were deceased. They'd climb right up on top of logs and things that I'd looked at hours previous, only to die. I'm not sure what's going on there. It must be some kind of fungal infection. That's the best I can imagine, because the nights weren't that cold. Unfortunately, the invasive lanternflies reached receptivity. That marks the time where they're mature enough to breed and even begin to start laying their egg cases on trees, buildings, 
in just about any surface they can find. October will be even worse than that. Wild grapes were also a delicious fruit to sample. Wasps and bees were also very active in getting their last minute stockpiles of nectar and pollen. Now of course being September, it's a very busy month. Lots and lots is going on in nature and even more goes on in October, but I just didn't really have the chance to get out and film it all. However, I plan on having a good video coming in October and we'll see what the late fall and winter months bring us. But I hope you guys enjoy your fall and have a great harvest time. Once again, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit. Chris Ignato, signing out.